Hey, what's up you guys? So, uh, wow, this light is really bright. We may turn this off. So, here, let me show you. I told you last time that uh, was one of the new things that I got. And I still have to figure out how to use the mic. If you watched the last video, I had some like pickup, uh, some feedback, so. This light is crazy bright. I told you about this last one. I mean, here, check this out. So there's one. This is like the low level. This is uh, level two. Oh my God, do you see that? Anyways, we may turn this light off here in the video. Um, we'll see. It's good for night vlog. I guess it's good for night vlogging, night right? Vlog. Yeah, so um, we just wanted to touch base. Uh, unfortunately, we are not going through with the house. So there were some issues I guess we can talk about it now uh, with the foundation of the house and <sighs> neither sides were willing to negotiate uh, or willing to pay for it. And so therefore we are not moving through, I'm not moving forward. Put this in an awkward situation now because I've said before, October 15th, we have to be out of here. 30 day close from September 15th, which is in two days. So I don't know. I mean, so it's not looking too likely now, unfortunately. It's not impossible, and we were looking at some houses also in Hutto and Taylor and whatnot, but we don't want to rush into anything. So a few contingency plans are coming up. Wow, okay, so that light is crazy bright. I need to see if that's in the owner's manual or if there's something I can do. It's kind of, yeah. it's on my eyes still. Anyways, uh, I mean, we may use it for certain cases, but just right now in the room, it's pretty bright. Um, but I mean, our plans are right now, Get another apartment, which we don't really want to do, but push is kind of coming to shove right now. Another plan, which is, <laughs> so um, it would be Grizzly and I moving to Corpus temporarily, and Jennifer would live with her sister who lives in Austin. And we do that for maybe two months. It's that maybe part that we'd really have to define. Um, because if we did do that, we can keep our expenses very low, get more of a down payment, and that sounds nice. However, I don't want to be away from Jennifer for any longer than I have to, especially during the pregnancy, you know? So, and option number three is we get into a house, which I was about to say rush into a house, because that's how, how I would feel like. I mean, to search for a house, find one, all the inspections and it just doesn't seem realistic but it's not impossible so that's where we're at if you got any tips advice anything drop it down below check that out guys sunday night i'm sure all you teachers can relate um, i will say i do there are certain aspects i miss about teaching but sunday nights that gloom of having a grade or prep and I mean everybody gets behind sometimes so it, it, it happens you know but I do not miss that um, I miss those good kids you connect with you know what I mean the the ones that have good hearts that may may be stuck in the middle wherever their life in their life I do miss that part you know there are definitely some some really great kids I met along the way so we have to start packing up that's our next thing if you got any tips on that Definitely, like I said before, drop it down below. Uh, maybe we'll show some video of that. We just have, we don't have so much stuff. I'll say that. What's the biggest thing we gotta get rid of? Our biggest thing that you're worried about sorting through? It's the little stuff, not the big stuff. What do you mean? The little stuff, like all of that. And that white container, all that stuff in our closet. That is true. You know, Jennifer and I have been on like a minimizing kick, sort of, mainly in the kitchen. I'll say that. Would you say anywhere else? Um, I've gone through that thing several times. I don't think you've ever gone through it, but mm -hmm. I've done it at least twice since we've lived here. We have like a cabinet here. I would show you, but it's very it's hot mess right now. You? you know, that's all right. That's part of it.
It's a bit of a hot mess. And I'm sure wherever you're at, you have that hot mess too somewhere. You know, just like that drawer that has a bunch of random stuff in it, but you never seem to clean it out and add stuff. And you know that's where that random stuff is. I think that that's what that container is for us. That's the white thing for sure. So. <laughs> and we call it the white thing. <laughs> yeah. And we know exactly what we're talking about. So one thing that we've been on lately and in terms of minimizing and trying to make things a little easier, especially with us being home or not her anymore, but this past summer with us both home, we were going through dishes like crazy and cleaning is always a thing, right? So one thing that we did was took it back to my Korea days. So when I used to live there, fun fact, I only had like one, maybe two of everything in the house or in the apartment. So I had like one spoon, one pot, one pan, one, maybe like two cups, one bowl, very minimal, right? But at the end of the day, I didn't really have a lot of guests at my apartment and that just meant less to clean. When all the dishes were dirty, guess what? It was like six things and that's it, you know? So anyways, we've been bringing that here because, because one of us here in the apartment can go through like six coffee cups in one day Somehow, some way, um, a couple butter knives in the same area. Somehow, some way. Anyway, so we're going back to that. Got rid of a bunch of uh, silverware. We're gonna get rid of it, just put it away so we're not accessing it every day. A couple cups out, coffee cups, plates, bowls. Put the majority of our pans up top so they're not really accessible. And yeah, it's helping a bit. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it was kind of cool because yesterday we got to see some of Jennifer's family. Two of her aunts and one uncle. And it was pretty cool. I, again, if you know me or don't, uh, my dad's family's from Venezuela and they're pretty much all over there still. And my mom was adopted, but we have family here that she was adopted from, but it's just, nobody's really connected. And so it's, I appreciate that interaction that we had yesterday, you know, um, to have like an uncle and an aunt. And it's just more of an uh, adult figure that you can interact with. It's not necessarily your parents. And thanks to technology, I've been actually uh, texting and interacting with my uncle back in Venezuela, one of them, but I missed that. I don't know if I told you that yesterday. So my, my mom's biological family, there's still some some of them in Pecos and Midland and West Texas area, but mm -hmm. I don't see them but once every year, maybe two years. So uh, it's pretty cool. I'll say, if you have those people in your lives, uh, as I'm always gonna say reach out to people, you know, say what's up, take it, take advantage and, and enjoy that. You know, cause sometimes like yesterday when we were driving home, I was really thinking about that, that I, I do miss I do miss them. I haven't gone back to Venezuela since 05. One memory that will always stick with me was throughout the trip. So I'm not very fluent in Spanish. I can, I'll say like 40% fluent, if that makes any sense. But at the time, I was not very fluent at all, maybe like 15% fluent. And my uncle that I have there, uh, one of them, we call him Chico Pael, he really took me around that whole summer when I was there, the couple weeks. And so like everything he was doing, if it's something I could go along with, I was there with him. You know what I mean? He took me to the mall, took me to run errands. Um, we may or may have not went to a bar, went to a baseball game. Um, and the thing was, he didn't know English. I knew very minimal Spanish. Looking back, how we really communicated, I'm not too sure. And it's not like we had cell phones and I busted up dictionaries all the time. That didn't exist. So it, it was very special. You know what I mean? I, I will always love my uncle for that experience. You know, we, we literally, he didn't speak English. I don't know. Mm -hmm. but yet somehow we spent all this time together and it was great. So I, I guess all that to say is um, reach out to your family, you know? All right, guys. That's all we got. We're gonna wind down our Sunday. She's gonna finish her work. And maybe, just maybe this vlog will get up tonight. But until next time, peace. I love you. I love you too.
number two. Alan.